Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Duramax Sidemate 4x8 Vinyl Shed, so here we go. The shed is a lean-to shed and it's 4 feet wide, 8 feet long, and the height is 6 feet on the tall side and 65 inches on the short side. So this shed gives you 172 cubic feet of space to put whatever you need in the shed. The siding is made from fire retardant vinyl plastic resin and heavy duty galvanized steel beams for a solid support structure for that foundation. The shed door is reversible, so you can have it on the left side or the right side. And just a heads up, they give you two instruction manuals, one to build it totally on the left side and one to build it totally on the right side. So usually when I do reviews, I do the pros and cons, and I start with the cons first. That will end on a good note. So with that said, here come the cons. First con is that you have to put it together yourself. So it took us about five and a half hours to put it together. And that may not be a con for you, depending if you like doing projects like this. But just a heads up, that's how long it took us. The instructions say it, it'll take four hours, but I think four hours is a little bit ambitious unless you've done it before and you just, you know, know how to do it and you can pile through the, the whole install. This particular kit doesn't come with flooring, so you have to buy your own flooring for it. And really it's just a four by eight piece of plywood, but it would be a little bit more convenient if it came with it. But I can see why it doesn't because it's, four by eight is a huge piece of wood, so you gotta get that yourself, you know, later after you buy the kit. Also keep in mind that you do have to cut the piece of plywood to get it into the actual shed because the shed itself, the perimeter, the outside perimeter is 4x8 and obviously the inside that you're walking on is not going to be 4x8. So in the instruction manual, they do give you the measurements, but I would recommend measuring it again on your physical shed just to make sure and then you cut it you know, yourself with your saw. Duramax also recommends that you get CDX plywood and that's basically just a plywood that's designed for outdoor usage. Uh, rather than just regular plywood. Maybe it's just right now, but the shed I found was not readily available. It was actually kind of difficult to find, and so keep that in mind if you're looking for it, that you might have to hunt for it to be able to get it, you know, into your backyard. So that's all the cons I have, so we have a bunch of pros, so let's go through them. So the first one is the price. So the price is $450 for the shed, and that's a pretty competitive price for the size of the shed, so I'm pretty impressed that you know, they offer a shed at that price for that much storage space. This is a massive pro. So if you look at the space we put it in on the side of my house, there was not much more room width-wise than eight feet. And so the way this shed is designed, it's designed to be built pretty much from the inside. And so that is the only way we would have been able to do this shed because if we were to have, if we had to go for like on the outside around the actual shed and nail things in and screw things in, there's no way we'd be able to put this shed in the space that I have because there's just no room to walk anywhere around the shed. So it is a huge pro that you can build it from the inside and basically it doesn't matter where the space is as long as there's enough space for the shed to be in that space you'll be able to build it and you'll be able to have your shed. When I was doing my research for looking for sheds this particular shed was one of the only ones I could find where the door app opened on the width side instead of the depth side and so obviously as you can see you know again from my backyard area where we needed to put it, we needed a shed that opened from the width side, not the depth side. So it's a really big pro that they make this type of design because it's basically the only type of shed that would work for my backyard. As I mentioned earlier, it is a reversible door shed, so you can build it on the left side or the right side. So my sh my particular shed is called the left side door shed, uh, you know, as opposed to the pictures that you see online, that's the right door side shed. I like that the vinyl panels are maintenance free. So basically you just put them up and you let them sit there and they'll be good to go. There's no rusting, no rotting, no need to paint it. It's just put it there and just forget about it. Keep in mind though, that there are roof plugs that need to be filled with silicone. So that's another extra product you're gonna need to buy. And that's the only thing you need to seal on the roof just to make sure the water doesn't get in when it starts to rain. The way the shed is designed, I don't see a high chance of water getting in because there's no holes at all. And so this is the V2 version of the shed. So if you were to look back a couple years ago at the V1, that one, there was holes everywhere in the, in the shed and you could see light coming in all over the place. So basically the only way to fix that is to get silicone and plug those holes. That way the water couldn't get in from the outside. So I'm glad they redesigned it basically so it's better, you know, suited for the outdoors with no holes and hopefully no water leakage. I like that they thought about the inside as well. So they actually sell shelving kits that you can mount to the inside of the wall. And obviously you want to do that to stack things up and maximize that space. Personally, we're not going to do that. We got a freestand, freestanding mount, freestanding shelving unit. 
to put inside, but it's nice that that option is there if you want to use it. I like that the foundation is pretty solid and that there are reinforcements on the inside of the panels and on the roof and things to make it a more solid piece, but the actual like siding, uh, the vinyl is pretty floppy, so if you're like in a bad area and someone wants to break into it, they're going to break into it because those the siding, the walls, you can just like knock those things out if you want. So not super impressed with that, but overall it is a really nice, pretty solid structure. As I just mentioned, it does come with the foundation. So that's something I believe was added to the V2 version. So basically, since it does come with the foundation, that's really nice. That's like half the battle because then you can build it, you know, on the ground. You can raise the basic sh the shed off the ground, but make sure that your ground, like your actual ground under the foundation is flat because if it's not, your shed is going to be leaning and that's not a good thing when you, you know, having stuff stored inside because then stuff's going to be sliding inside. So make sure that your ground is even so the foundation has a nice flat surface to lay on. It's really nice that this shed actually comes with a foundation kit because, you know, it's kind of hard to build things out of rocks or whatever to make a surface flat. And that's basically like a project in itself right there. So having the foundation saves you doing an extra project, essentially. I'm not really sure why an outdoor shed wouldn't have a lockable door, but in any case, this one does have a lockable door. And so it makes sense because you need to keep your contents protected and safe uh, with the lock. So that's my review of the Duramax 4x8 shed. I really like that the shed is pretty big and gives you a ton of room to store contents outdoors. It has a competitive price and a ton of features, and so I definitely recommend this shed if you're looking for a shed this size. How does this shed stack up to other sheds you've been looking at? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.